Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you may be around the world. Of course, I am Jay Campbell, and you are watching the Jay Campbell Podcast. And I'm very excited today to be joined in my virtual StreamYard studio from all the way across the pond with Adam Geth. And Adam, what is up, my brother? How are you? Very good. Thank you, mate. Good to see you today. It's good to see you, too. So, you guys, let me give you who Adam is. So, he is a relative of the illustrious Chris Gethin, which many of you guys now know, uh, you know, from my audience that follows me, Chris and I are very good friends. We just announced, or we will be announcing publicly, privately, we've announced a seminar that's coming um, later this summer. But Adam is the co-founder of an amazing company, which I'm going to be presenting and, and telling you a lot more about as this year in 2024 commences. And by the way, it is January 25th for the record, but it's Biostacks or Biostack Labs, or biostacklabs.com. And he's a serial entrepreneur with a background in health and wellness and marketing who has worked with some of the world's most recognized names in the fitness space. Biostack has become recognized as the most cutting edge brand in the longevity space. In fact, so much so that I actually use their supplements, which we'll be talking about in this um, broadcast. And they also have an extreme emphasis on purity, quality, and convenience. And of course, I would not put my name behind anything that I didn't use and trust. So that is why Adam is here today. We're going to be talking about a lot of stuff. But really, just before we jump into the podcast, man, because you're an entrepreneur, you're in the yep. entrepreneur hustle. Uh, yes. What do, you, what do you think? And I've been asking all my guests on the Jay Campbell podcast recently, especially this year. But like, obviously, bro, we're in an incredible world, right? Like you can look at this world as like, Glass half empty, like, you know, oh my God, everything is cr crumbling. Financial systems are crumbling. Brick and mortar business, brick and mortar businesses are crumbling. Political, you know, uh, systems are crumbling. Or, you know, you can look at it like I do, and I'm sure you're going to say you do, which is the glass is half full. We're in a golden age. We're literally in a golden age right now of biotechnology, of cutting edge supplements, such as the kind that you put out wondrous abilities to understand, uh, you know, the human genome, you know, how to biohack life, how to biohack age. I mean, it's insane, but like, what do you see? Cause I like to get, you know, my guest comments on like, are you buying humanity or selling at this stage? <laughs> I'm very much like you. I believe I've always been of the positive mindset. And I think the opportunities we have today in all walks of life are incredible, um, including health optimization. Because if you, so I'm a big sports guy, big sports fan. If you look at the sell by date of pro athletes 15 years ago, it was 30 and then yeah. they're out. Now I think guys 35, 40, I know Tom Brady in his 40s came back. Uh, yeah, I'm big name over with you and achieved at the highest level. So what I love with that, particularly as a father, is that I can work on remaining young long term and that's a very real opportunity we have so i think we're very fortunate to have those things if you have the awareness to go and uh, do the work yeah, and that is the key you just said at the end the awareness to do the work you know when i start talking not to rabbit hole but this is important when i start talking about spirituality with people it's, it either goes one of two ways they completely tune out because they have absolutely no idea what i'm talking about and and, and, and that's understand most people come from a dogmatic Abrahamic religious background. And, you know, as soon as you start talking about, you know, ascension and vibration and all these different terms, you know, people freak out and they're like, dude, you lost me. And, and, you know, yeah. one of my brothers, one of my brothers, a family member who's a very accomplished, successful business person and an entrepreneur sold one of his companies already for seven figures, um, you know, messaged me today in a text. And he said, you know, bro, like you really are a profound teacher. This is my brother saying this to me. And I was just like, the hell's going on who came into it but he's like i have absolutely no idea what you talk about he's like i want to understand but can you make it more relatable to me and what you just said adam is why i can't i can't make relatable things to people who are not relatable to it and that means that if you're not choosing to do the work on your own yep. there isn't a hack or a ninja tactic or a Grant Cardone video that I can send you that allows you to understand what I'm talking about. You said it best, bro. You have to do the work. And so many people today, whether it's in the biohacking space or spirituality or in business or whatever it is, bro, they want to buy the Grant Cardone video. Yes. They don't want to actually do the work. And all learning 
is the experiential based. I've said as a guy who prolifically reads books, I also know that just reading books isn't going to give me any kind of knowledge because knowledge comes from experience. 100%. And and you have like, it's trendy to consume content now, right? Right. And there's a lot of value to that. We're creating content to give people value. I'm a big, you know, I do consume content. However, acting on it is worth a hundred X of that. And I think that we live in a time now where you've got people attending seminars. I saw the other day, Gary Vaynerchuk do, do a seminar and he recognized someone in the crowd. And he was like, this person's been to my seminars for the last several years, which he said is cool. But what are you doing with what I'm teaching you? That's exactly right. Because if you, if you're just consuming and not acting, um, and I think you have to be very conscious of that is if you're someone who's consuming content to optimize your health, to develop yourself in any way, back it up with action, because that's how you learn. And the, the beauty is you, you also get buy-in from yourself because 100%. You, get, you get tangible results and also you will make mistakes and that's good because you will learn. And that's I think right. you, you've got to back up the consumption of content with action, which is an old fashioned, uh, way of looking at it but i think it's very very relevant well it's the only thing that matters it, it, it yep. literally is the only thing that matters like i like to say which is another way to say what you just said is when you're in this world you're creating but if you're of this world so we're getting biblical here you're consuming and yep. the problem is the problem is when you're consuming without creating right so most people, unfortunately, you know, if we get into the whole vibrational frequency stuff, they're down here going from Netflix to porn to video games to yep. CNN. But if you go to a Gary, you know, V or seven R and he teaches profound stuff, then you shouldn't be going to his seven R on one later. You should take his points and create a plan of action for yourself and then engage. Right. And, and I understand like, depending on your age and also your, uh, money level, like how hard it is to put a plan into action because it does take capital. But at the end of the day, you're exactly right. Like you must take action because you cannot acquire experiential based knowledge without taking action. You can't, you can read every book in the world and, and look, you know, Chris and I, this is a good, nice, nice relevant topic, but we joke all the time at all the guys that, you know, hit us up on Instagram. And I'm sure it happens to you now too. Or all these places that say, hey, man, like, your so-and-so is great, but I could really help you out, right? And then you're like, uh, no, you got to help yeah. me out, dude. Yeah. And it's like a 21-year-old kid yeah. who watched the Grant Cardone videos or the Gary V course or whatever. And they're, you know, they're 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 out there trying to get you. But in their defense, in, 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 in their credit, they're taking action. For sure. Yeah, and I can't knock that because, look, when I was in school, I was I was selling stuff on eBay. Uh, I don't know yeah. how all that stuff. So I was really doing it. I just didn't have much experience because I then just started. But that's um, how you learn, bro. That's literally how you got to where you are now because you took action to do all that stuff. For sure. So I don't knock it, but like you said, there's a way to do it. There, there's a difference. Um, and I think that like you, you're talking about the level someone's at in terms of mindset. A big thing to me is if somebody goes to a coffee shop and they sit and listen to a lot of the conversations. A lot of the conversation is pretty low level. What I mean by that is it's easy to talk about the news, stuff that's not in your control, other people. Very few of those people will be focusing on making progress. And the reason is that's hard because that self-reflection and ownership and responsibility of your choices. And if you tie that into health optimization, that's a hard conversation for a lot of people to have. And I get it because when you have to look at yourself, most people know deep down you, you know what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong. And the best thing is to own that and, and then to move forward with it. So I think, and this is why I find the health optimization space and the entrepreneurial space so interesting because they thrive on taking responsibility. Absolutely. And thrive off owning decisions, good and bad. So if I make a mistake or make a bad choice, I'll own it. I won't try and dress it up. It is what it is. I made a bad choice. You learn and move on. And I think if you can take that on board, your health will uh, really thrive as, as well as areas of your life. They go hand in hand to me. That's it. That's it, man. It's beautiful. And yeah, you can't, that's it. I mean, you can't be an entrepreneur. I mean, you can attempt to, but you can't be a successful entrepreneur unless you take radical responsibility and personal accountability for everything right. that happens to you. Is You know, it's hilarious that we're having this podcast right now because earlier today I was in my infrared and, you know, my uh, 
Clips team sends me stuff through Loomly and I have to go in and approve it and read the content or whatever. And there were like two clips from Chris and my podcast, which was a long time ago now. I mean, you know, the, the world is flying. I think it was it published yeah. at the end of November, but it was just like two amazing clips. And that was one of them was radical responsibility. And Chris was talking about that. And it's like, you know, he, he was also making a joke about people that go to the gym because him and I have the exact same viewpoint on this, that like 95% of people don't know how to train. Right, sure. because they don't know how to go to positive muscle failure. Yeah, and you can't train to positive muscle failure. You're never going to build an amazing physique. You're never actually even going to improve year to year, day to day, you know, month to month over time. So it's like he was saying that it takes to train to positive muscle failure. It takes radical responsibility and personal accountability to understand where your failure point is. For sure, for sure. And again, it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable and. And Chris and I speak about this a lot with, with people in the coaching program that we take care of, that a lot, a lot of people, particularly now, have noticed this compared to like 10 years ago. So, so my introduction to training is very much from the bodybuilding world work with a lot of yeah. high feet pros. So I was exposed to like high levels of intensity at a young age. And yeah. you'd go to the gym with these guys and it was, it was game time. It was training. <laughs> now you'll see guys between the sets on the phone, so the, 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 and the, the thing with that is right you think about mindset so you're sat there for like two minutes between your set for example it just it's the same time but to go from the mindset of the chilling back into an intense workout you can't do it you can't do that you can't do that and i and i think when you're trying to teach someone the art of training and it is an art it's a skill absolutely it, it's the psychology that goes along with that and that ties into being able to get in the right mindset for training, for, for same with business, when's it game time and when is it time to relax? Because that's right. a skill, being able to yeah. let you cover. And it's the same with, uh, again, health optimization. It's having the right mindset around things. Beautiful. I, w- I want to say one other thing to that point before we jump into your topics, because to- along the same line of what you just said, bro, you, do you notice how skilled all of us as you know, quote unquote, successful entrepreneurs have to be today now just in handling who we interact with through the course of yeah. Life. Oh yeah. Think Stay. about that. Yes. Because Stay. it's unending. Yes. Right. And you have to navigate, you have to create, you're up, you're responsible to your employees, you know, to to your people you're working with, business builders and leaders and stuff like that. And yep. bro, one person can literally suck the life out of you but if you it's all but it's up to you if you allow it so we we have to we have to actually it's it, it takes great i'll make up a word if i have to but strategery yeah it takes great strategy day yeah. in and day out now to figure out who we're going to communicate with and not interrupt the flow of our creation so yeah great point and that's where boundary setting comes in and boundary setting is a skill so the better you, the, the more you progress in life, the better you get at saying no. And right. if you're naturally a people pleaser, a lot of people are people pleasers because of as a child, they wanted to please their parents. So they'd yeah. constantly check validation. But as an adult, if you say yes to everyone, you're typically a busy fool. This chaos get pulled in every direction. And that has a very real impact, not just performance productivity, but on health. Because if your nervous system's all over the place, and that's going to massively disrupt sleep. That's going to probably drive emotional eating choices. So this stuff, this is like, it's all encompassing. It's very real. And the better you can get at creating boundaries. Uh, and that's something I've really leaned into the last two years. So I'm yeah. 34 now. Yeah. And to me, that was a real discovery. Um, and I'm kind of what fast track that for me. I've got three young sons and I have less time. Yeah. So you have to be more ruthless with, with one, your time and two, your energy, because, um, yeah. like my, my backstory, my bringing where from a family dynamic is that some members of my family were very negative. So having the energy pulled out of you is really, that's the thing, right? You feel sure. in the yeah. same way you sit down, like we have a dinner together in the States I'm sure in time to come, it'll sure. be a, be a, a positive conversation it's uplifting so to me that all ties into your health it ties into your performance it ties into psychology it's all linked 
it's incredible because I'm sure we have similar backgrounds. I mean, Chris shared his story with me too, and you can go deeper if you want. But yeah, I mean, like, I almost feel like all of us that make it on this path, again, this entrepreneur grind, just, you know, building businesses, selling businesses, building businesses, selling businesses, networking, doing the stuff that we do, we all come from scarcity backgrounds, right? Yep. Like we all come from backgrounds of like, life is hard and yeah. it fucking sucks and you've got to do what you got to do, right? But it's like, as soon as you move away from scarcity, which is definitely, like you said, bro, it's a mindset. And, and, and we all have had influences, parents, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, friends, even mentors who are parasitic limitation, you know, again, scarcity monsters. And it's like, you have to learn And When you're younger, it's so much harder, right? Because you're obviously under the yoke of these people in many ways. Yeah. Um, you have to learn to, to push back and not only push back, break away. Right. Pretty sure. This is what I learned in my thirties versus twenties and my twenties more, I suppose, anger fueled yeah. me. It was the sure. proof, prove you wrong. What I learned is that one that wasn't necessarily conducive for my long-term success because the problem was you set a goal, you'd hit it yeah. and you'd not solve all your problems and then it didn't. So what I learned was actually um, a level, not of acceptance to, to the behavior, but a level of, um, of empathy towards it. So I That's understood it. they behaved that way. So I didn't agree with it, but like gaining an understanding, I could kind of move from it and, and not be invested in it um, because what I was basically doing was constantly chasing a goal as if it would release me from that frustration and that doesn't work. So now you are clear, or at least I'm clear to make choices for the future based on things I want to do, not out of mm, anger, controlled spite, whatever you want to call it. So it's a discovery journey. It is. That's awesome, man. Um, yeah. So let's segue into your, um, the, the points that we have to talk about, but like, I really want to make a general point because you and I have been talking about this and like, obviously before yeah. I agreed to like really become involved with using your products and brand, I, you know, I wanted to understand your idea of the, of the business and the space. And I know you have the same exact mindset as I do that you don't want to be in the supplement space unless you can assure and guarantee that the quality of the ingredients and the quality of the you know raw materials is the best that it can possibly be. And as I was telling you, you know, my background in the supplement space is, you know, pretty volume voluminous in that I've been out, you know, been bought out of one company, walked away from another company, and then finally sold one for seven figures. But it's like, it's dude, it's a, it's a, it's a difficult business to, to maneuver and navigate through because again, there's so many scammers in the supplement industry, as you know. And so I really, really want to set you up for this. You know, from a way of standing, of saying, like, you know, what are you guys doing to separate yourselves in an industry that is full of people who will take advantage of others? <laughs> I, look, so first and foremost, I agree. So I have the privilege of having worked in this industry for a long time since I was a teenager. Like I said, I'm 34, so I know the game, as you said, and um, I know how it works uh, inside and out in the states and UK. So here's the thing, into under quality purity standards, I want, I will only sell products that I want my wife to use. So when I'm in the kitchen at night taking Cell Shield, using NAD Regen in the morning, I'm getting mine. I will get Sophie's as well and get it ready for her. Now, I wouldn't be able to do that if I didn't know it was the best. That's my standard is that I want my family, I want my loved ones to use it because it's genuinely good. So the reason as to why Biostack has become so different and it's gained traction so quickly from some of the best names, including yourself in the space, is because of the transparency. So yeah. if you look at what we do, I mean, this shows the level we go to make the products as pure. We don't even have magnesium stereo or silicon dioxide in the fillers. Go into any supplement store, look at the fillers. They'll have that. And our manufacturing partner had to go to great trouble to make those products not contain those fillers because we're adamant and those are the little details which matter in terms of ingredients we're looking all the time at the research we're using licensed ingredients so if you're not sure what that means licensed paths to ingredients essentially have research behind them they're not generic ingredients and in terms of cost the, the, you know we're talking at least 3x compared to if we went generic so in terms of margin 
in terms of money making hat on generic would make us more profit but that's not aligned with who we are so we go the expensive route we give people exactly what they should have and it's a really simple formula when you think about this you give people the best and the other thing with us so it's not just purity and quality it's convenience and I'll, I'll explain why that's really key in a moment but when you think about it convenience and the best quality together is a very simple concept yeah. a lot of companies don't do it because it's expensive and because it's expensive expensive margins are less and when you've got accountants telling you if you cut that out cut that out less of that ingredient in you make more margin that's what a lot of them do because most supplement owner uh supplement brand owners in my experience i don't know about you but many of them are not into the healthy lifestyle in no. business <laughs> like if, if you meet them you spend time with them they're you're like they're... what is going on here it's probably it's the same way with the medical industry yeah. When you meet doctors, you're like, they go out and smoke a pack of cigarettes and pound down two Big Macs and drink it, wash it down with a Mountain Dew. I know, yeah. man. Exactly. So, so because like our team, um, not just me, because we genuinely are, you know, aligned with health optimization. And like I said, my background is uh, sports nutrition. So way before this, it's always been about healthy living. The The point is we, we care about it. And I can take stuff that I eat knew wasn't good like yeah. it, it yeah. right yeah. because we're pure at heart it does in the supplement space especially because that's what happens right um yeah. people decide to, to choose profit you know over um performance or profit over quality yeah. and that's what happens and so like you have to take a stand and so that's why again why i'm you know standing behind you guys because like i know you're using the most amazing ingredients again i'll share at the end of this podcast like i've been using your products yeah. now yeah i mean yeah. i mean and, and and your products are obviously world class you know from a yeah. standpoint of they do a lot of the stuff that people on the edge of the biohacking or at the bleeding edge or what i call the tip of the spear of the biohacking community right now are all about right and so we yeah. can talk about those right now but like you know, NAD enhancement and supplementation, increasing cellular energy levels and optimizing mitochondria. I mean, that is the rage of the biohacking space right now. And look, man, I, it's not going away. I mean, no, the technology, no. well, look, the technology of like red light, you know, Chris and I have been talking about red light. You know, I promote a company called uh, Trifecta and they have a $70,000 red light bed and it's the highest grade, quote unquote, medical red, medical grade, infra, near infrared and red light therapy. That's the cheapest, right? Cause like, you know, Gary yeah. Bracca and Grant Cardone got their $130,000 one. And when you really start looking at the quality of the light, they're all the same. Yeah. Right. But, 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 but Adam, the truth is, and again, most people don't know this. It's only the high end ones that are truly generating the wavelength of light, quote unquote, necessary. They using that word. Cause you know, when I say that about, uh, peptides you can't say that but there's a, there's a specific gradient of near infrared light and red light that will truly change the cells yeah and, and upgrade the cells and do the things that you know everybody is quote unquote heard about red light but dude a lot of the lower end red light device companies without mention names out there aren't doing any of that and you know mm -hmm. people are getting taken what i would say to the cleaners buying some of these really cheap end products and, and, and it's like anything in the matrix dude like as soon as you start seeing one product become thousands of products you know what's happening right so it's like yeah. in the supplement space there are thousands of supplement companies yeah. and i would just right now with the jay campbell stamp of like this is what's really going on say that 80 to 85 percent you know i'll leave a 15 percent margin are putting who knows what in their ponies so it's like, it's incredible what goes on in the supplement space. All good. It's it, it's incredible what goes on in the supplement space. But again, dude, if you're not aware to this and most consumers are not, they get taken. For sure. Yeah, for sure. So like even brands who over years, the sports nutrition space is bad for this. Would you good ingredients? What they tend to do is water down the dose, the efficacy. Yeah. Because you it basically means to... I'll give the consumer credit in a minute because a lot of consumers are getting more educated now than they were 10 years ago. So what would happen? Let's see, oh, it's got that in. So that's perfect. They won't necessarily understand the synergy behind it before and, and right. it just marks employ. Now, just to give these guys a, uh, on your show a real quick insight into why Biostack came about and 
how authentic the whole thing was. I, I want to share a story. I'll be really open on this. Sure. So 2020, I just turned 30 and I just became, as a father, and I was about to have my second son. So what, the, the relevance of that is this. My sleep was not as good because little yeah. ones. And I was naturally somebody in my 20s, just being really transparent, who didn't ever have good sleep because I was such an overactive, dopamine-driven person, thinking of work, working late, all that stuff. So when I had kids, what it meant was I had less insulation to get away with the bad sleep. It was hitting me harder. And one of my businesses, particularly at the time, uh, I run several businesses and I'll, I'll go into that, uh, was growing quickly, which is good. However, that can also create stress. Stress, yeah. However, I was pretty good. And a friend of mine, he, he's a fantastic coach, still does my programming now. He said, I'd like you to do a HRV test. Uh, let's just do some investigative work on, on where you're at. And I was like, yeah, no problem. And uh, he said, because I, I think it's Stress levels are pretty high. And long story short, the result came back. Um, so I was sitting at about 28 with my HRV at the time, okay? Uh, there's bio-individuality with these things. So it's not necessarily good or bad, but I mean, there's an indicator with restorative sleep that I was, ex you know, achieving. It, it was it was low. <laughs> so what happened was I was now dad. I suddenly wanted to live long, long-term because I got little ones to think of. And I'd, I'd always lived well, I'd always eaten well, I don't drink, don't do drugs, totally, completely see total, train hard all my life. But I was more of an athlete than like health optimizer, if you like. And these results were like the slap in the face to tell me you need to optimize health as well. So what happened from there? I had a peripheral awareness of the biohacking space, largely through Chris, because Chris had lived that year, that life for years. And I started looking at things like NAD IVs, all this stuff. And what I realized was one, there was a huge lack of convenience with some of it. And so where I live in, in the UK, the West coast of Wales, so York, I'm out in the sticks. So to go to any clinics and things, right, like hours away. And two was the, the, the quality factor. I didn't feel there was a brand, particularly on NAD at the time, which is my interest at the time. Uh, who, who really put a stamp on it, given the best, but beyond that, given convenience. And what I mean by that is additional ingredients. Because what I want, I want efficiency. So if I get up in the morning, two capsules of NAD regen before meal one, and you're done. That's the efficacious dose for the day. Yeah. And that includes bermudine in there. It includes the niacinamide. So for me, that is hugely appealing. That is why we went on the journey of creating this brand. We wanted the best ingredients and we wanted to stack them in a convenient way. There you go. I have mine too. <laughs> well, so, I mean, like, let me just, let me just read off the label. Cause I mean, again, just to let people understand the quality of this, like it's got niacin, which is, uh, hundred, I'm sorry. My vision is so poor now and I don't have a lot of light cause I have the showcase light or whatever on here but it's 126 milligram which is 788 percent of the us rda like that matters um copper as cuprous niacin again 0.2 milligrams uh proprietary blend of wasabi extract which is uh theocrine which i actually have that by the way yes so that's that. in sean wells I, I i use separate of that too um and then uh cuprous niacin which i already have i already mentioned resveratrol 50 percent uh 200 milligrams spermidine yeah maybe spermidine five milligrams and then black pepper extract which is the piperin nigrum extract which helps for absorption so the key the key ingredient there jay is the nad3 so nad3 yeah. is an incredible ingredient for nad status so what we tend to find, NAD IVs, injections, precursor, or uh, precursors like NMN, NR, they focus on output. And they also have the potential, depending on how good your methylation is, to stress the methylation process. Lots of people have issues in that area because of multiple factors. NAD3 is clinical proof, human trials, that it improves NAD status by addressing the root cause of NAD decline. So 
the analogy I use is let somebody, let's say somebody is working harder and harder and harder to earn money, but they're not getting better at like accumulating money. So you're earning more, but you're spending more. So you're not necessarily gaining, but you're, but you're working harder to get the bigger number. It's a bit like that. It makes you work more efficiently. Don't load the methylation pathway and you get good at addressing why NAD levels are dropping, which by the way, happens in people after about 25, to be honest, uh, but after 40, it really accelerates. It's a natural thing. And it's not just supplementation for NAD status. That's nutrition. That's training because oxygen, uh, oxygen depth from intense training helps with NAD status. So it's an all encompassing thing. And I'm very clear to always point this out. We're not just a supplement company. It's a lifestyle we believe in. Yeah. We believe yeah. in the nutrition. I believe in the training. When we train, we train hard. We eat well. And, and that's the thing. It's not like take a pill and you're done. We're, we're, we're big on the lifestyle. I'm very clear on that. But that, that goes back to why we started the brand and the significance of the formula uh, being based around NAD3 is huge. We had Professor Mike Roberts, the guy who does the clinical research out of uh, Auburn University. He went on the Ben Greenfield podcast, talked Ben released a 4,000 word blog on on the science behind it. So it's all out there. It's, you know, the, the one thing we really took advantage of though with this, with sort of stacking ingredients is the spermidine. So spermidine is great for zombie cells which in layman terms really helps remove that like inner biological lag we experience as we get a little older. So spermidine is brilliant for that. And we've now made it possible for you to just have that in the morning. And again, you're getting that as well versus yeah. have to remember to say this, 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 and this. And you know, it's like people forget to order their supplements. They run out of ingredient and everyone does it. Everyone does it. So for me, it was how we bring the best along with convenience. That is what we had to do. And that's what so, we've done. well, so let me ask you some questions about the NAD because, like, I'm so I, you know, I just had Dr. Shi on my podcast, and you know, he paid a lot of money for me to get an NAD test. And I've always told him, like, you know, with the injections and the patches, my wife wears the patches all the time. I, I, I'm, you know, obviously, an NAD cocktail is a different story altogether, right? Like, I feel that that's big time, but like, never felt jack on the patches. But in my mind, um, you know, and Dr. Shi and you know, I went back and forth on this and he was like, look, the patches don't work like really good quality supplements like you guys have and he has. And his is a powder formula, which is also not convenient, right? Because you got to mix it in water. You got to get the freaking funnel, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You know, like like for my, you know, my keto drink, because I, I take, um, it's a, what do you call it? It's not a keto uh, drink, but it's an electrolyte drink when I'm fasting, right? Yeah. To give yeah. me salt, to give me, you know, all the things I need to, fast for long periods of time with good energy, but I got to use a funnel, yep. put it in my, my, uh, my Icelandic water, which is the only water that I drink, which is still going into a plastic bottle, but don't, don't let me not rabbit hole. But, uh, when I tested with this expensive NAD test that she paid for me and it was really expensive, it was like $4,400. And you know, of course they wow. paid for me because they wanted me to promote the products and stuff. And I came out exactly as I thought, which was I'm at the top end of the range and that my NAD is really, really strong. And my guess is like, you know, I'm always back and forth with the doctors that give us the patches because my wife still wears the patches and she she likes them and stuff like that. And her, she, they did the test for her too. And she was half of me. So okay. her levels of NAD were half of mine. So that's why she likes wearing the patches and feels better. But this is just, again, the Jay Campbell opinion. Yeah. And obviously we're all biochemically unique, as you know, at of one. I feel that the more optimized a person is, yeah. the less they're going to feel from an impact standpoint, NAD supplementation. However, that doesn't mean that you won't still benefit from the NAD supplementation. Sure. So I want you to talk about that because I feel that most people, when they supplement or when they buy products to supplement, they want to notice something. You know what I mean? They want to feel stronger, feel leaner, have bigger biceps, you know, something, right? So it's like, yeah. what, what can you say to that to people who say, well, you know, dude, I wore the patches. But I don't really feel much. So I love that. I love that because, like I said, sports nutrition background, pre-workout um, was is the one, right? So when I was 18, I, I joke with you about this. When I was 18, Dorian Yates, six time Mr. Olympia, we used to take his D, uh, DUI Knox pump, the pre-workout, and that stuff would take your head off. And if it says build up to one serving, young lads are like, I'll take two. 
because it's it's hardcore. So you like the, sell amp. What was the name of that product? I'm trying to remember. What was it? You got you got Jack 3D. Um, yeah. You got, yeah, that was the big one. So the thing is, right, the psychology of that from a marketer standpoint, like pre workouts to me now, it's basically the better we can make this blow someone's head off, the better yeah. it'll sell. That's the mindset. When you're dealing with, I have a theory on this, when you're dealing with guys like me, who are 34 dads, have gone through the sports nutrition journey and still train well, but now they're not, like I don't say pre-workout, you know, like it's right. about health. Um, when you have those guys right. who have gone through that journey, they've been conditioned to feel, like you've said, they've been conditioned to take something and whack, it, that you feel something. So when you're taking health optimizing, uh, optimizing supplements, you're not feeling it in the way you'd feel like an, an energy drink because it's a different feeling. So to your point, yeah, the more optimized you are, the less. In the same way, if someone's ATP regeneration uh, is like really high, then creatine supplementation will have less of an impact on performance because that's just their physiological state and it's great. However, what I'll say, and this is anecdotal, but we have thousands and thousands of customers. So it is across a big pool of people. The one thing we get a lot of is people saying they have a noticeable gentle elevation in energy, energy through the day, not like you take the pills and it's like a coffee where you're lifted, more like a gentle elevation in energy where they feel lighter on the feet, if you like. And we're seeing that across the board. It's really interesting you mentioned uh, about you being not to as your wife having lower level. So we have a lot of female customers a lot and women after about 40 particularly in the perimenopause window will that's where she's at perimenopause yeah. yep. and, and they experience a massive decline in nad status it's yeah. aggressive yeah. the drop off is very aggressive so we find women in that window who take the regen are always the ones saying i feel incredible on it it's, if you read a lot of our reviews that's what they'll say so just to reiterate, you will feel it in a gentle way, but we are conditioned because of the sports nutrition market to need that big hit, like you say, which isn't necessarily conducive to health, actually. Like yeah. those things fry you, but but they the marketers make the product do that. But the other thing about you guys that I love, Adam, is and, and again, for all of you guys watching this audience, you guys are gonna see a lot more on Adam. There'll be a lot we're, we're, he's probably going to get mike roberts that he was just talking about who was on bed to do a podcast with me too so we can really do a deep dive in the sure. science but uh tom my uh, uh article blog writer one of them is um already interviewed you or will be and he's going to write That's a very great. deep yeah you're going to write a very deep dive article on the science of older supplements but again you guys only have what four there's four products correct right now right oh cool. cool. yeah. yeah so you're not like you know again the typical supplement company that's trying to like long form engage everyone for everything you just got like hey man we have like four of the absolute best products in the marketplace for where we stand and if you use these four products you're going to get sell your benefit and again for, for my audience it's literally like how can i live the longest and strongest yeah but not put my health in jeopardy for sure right, right. That's and that's yeah. and that's what your supplements do and you know that's again guys you know for the record i've been using them for a month now um and you will see my uh results and much more information about my personal use of them coming um uh, in about what bro the three weeks a little less three. than three weeks yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. so and, yeah. and this well this podcast is going to run today's the 25th but this podcast for you guys who are watching it will be running on the 12th of february um and then that week is when you'll see all the information coming out did yeah. you want to talk about um just the mission of biostack any more than you have said or even talk about a couple of the supplements in deeper yeah, for sure. So, I mean, to your point about having four products, we could release 15 tomorrow, but that's not our mission because no. because what we do is every formula has to be truly unique. So we have got, um, our next formula coming out is a hydration formula and it's incredible. Like it's properly incredible. Um, it's super it's free. It's sugar free. It tastes great. We've got a patented ingredient, which helps uh, manage blood sugar regulation. We've used um, a patented sweetener from the sugar cane plant. That's that's completely natural. So we go through extensive R and D and and testing to get the right formulas. So if you take our Glynac Plus, which is the current um, new release, if you like, Glynac as a as a phrase is something biohackers have used for time: glycine and NAD. 
However, we brought with it some new ingredients, which essentially it, it taps into the same message. We're giving you the best with additional convenience because we're putting them together and ingredients on top. So we have selenium in there. We have molybdenum. We have a, a, a form of calcium, which is phenomenal for anti-inflammatory uh, benefits. And I'm big on controlling inflammation because we live in a very pro-inflammatory environment. You know, like, eating, yeah, they... like, yeah, like, you know, people, people just talk about calories in, calories out. Go and have a 500 calorie McDonald's and tell me how you feel after. It's yeah, all, it's not the calories. It's, it's all the crap your body's processing. So the amount of people who are creating untold amounts of inflammation in their body, um, like it's normal. They think it's normal to feel like that. Bro, um, well, just think about what, to your point though, because you, you just brought something up that's interesting and we should just destroy it, is that yeah. the same shit with the, if it fits your macros, morons. I mean, oh. think about that. Yeah, I, for sure. I mean, like, oh yeah, you, you know, dude, like if, if, if it fits, you can have three slices of cake at 11 o'clock at night. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. So my view on nutrition has always been, so my dad's a farmer, like an old school farmer, okay? And he was all about, he grew up eating meat off the land. Like they would kill the animal on the farm going back, you know, like 60s, 70s, what have you. So he's big on real food from the land. So it's not been touched by anything. It's not like got any pesticides, nothing like that. So that was kind of my upbringing, big on like that old, old fashioned nutritious food. And I'm a big believer in it. Look, you can build some flexibility into your life sometimes. That's my view. But if your North Star nutrition is how can I fit this crap into my diet on a daily basis, you will pay the price for that. Absolutely. Like, uh, because, you know, you're dealing with, going back to it, inflammatory response. Yes. With mo like if you ask people physically, most people physically feel inflamed. If, if you were to make them educated enough to understand how that feels, and what they don't realize is they can escape that if they're to address nutritional practices often. But we, so the reason I, I brought the Lepranglanic Plus is uh, incredible uh, anti inflammatory properties. And that's a big thing for me. A cell shield, which as a glutathione product, we, uh, also has like possible vitamin C. We just reformulated it to now also include a patented form of curcumin, again, for anti inflammatory properties. Because what we're doing. We're, trying, we're building a stack which, like I said, brings you ultra convenience, but gives you a blend of ingredients which across the day help overlap so that you've got a multifaceted approach to controlling your health, optimizing your health and supporting your body in a high stress environment. Because look, we can put strategies in place. I spoke about boundary setting at the start. That goes that goes for, um, you know, coming off your phone at appropriate time, cell phone, going into the evening for better sleep, all these things. However, we do live in a very unnatural environment now, in my opinion, where we're plugged in all of the time, we're contactful all of the time, we're eating more processed food than ever, drinking processed coffee, all this stuff. So we're trying to create products which help mitigate uh, that environment because for most people, a lot of our consumers, they aren't locking themselves away in a cave. And then of all the world, they are going about their daily business, trying their best. And that's cool to, you know, that they're dealing with stress from where they're, they're trying to eat the best. Maybe, um, I don't know, pulling into a supermarket and food on the go, Good, decent food, but it's not always the best. So we're trying to give those people the ability to, to cover the gaps, basically yeah. not to place yeah. nutritional choices. That's always key but to cover the gaps in the most impactful way possible, which is why our formulas cost so much money to make. Like we're not cheap, but it's because it costs us a fortune to make them. They're very extensive. And, and a lot of people in the, in our industry might even look at us and go, you're crazy. But by giving people the best, there are enough people out there. And thankfully our customers are showing that, that are, are valuing what we're doing, that seeing the, the level of effort we're putting in creating these formulas and the cost that goes into that. And they're willing to pay the extra money for the best. And we're very fortunate to have those people support our brand. And that's exactly why this podcast is happening and, you know, why I'm excited to really start pushing, you know, the Biostack Labs uh, suite of products pretty soon. Um, before we end, I'll just say, you know, to what you were saying about inflammation, I think it's an important point. <clears throat> Dude, the average, let's just call them because, you know, you're in the UK, but the average yeah. Western person today yep. westernized yep. first world person yep. 
is literally a walking contamination field of inflammation. Yeah. Like from when you wake up in the morning to looking at your phone to going under incandescent irradiated lights to then sitting in front of your computer or standing if you're like us uh, to being under the white lights of office buildings to then getting in your car. God help the people that are driving electric cars because those things are absolute EMF meters. I mean, they're just being decimated. I mean, there is no way that a normal human being today with outside, like you said, living in a cave or building a Faraday cage around them can, can, can avoid the contamination fields. I mean, it's everything. And that's why, again, the lifestyle that obviously you and I espouse and Chris espouses and everybody in the group, you know, and the Biostack Lives team and stuff, it's all about mitigation yeah. through hormonal optimization. Through yeah. insulin controlled living, through high quality supplementation that enhances mitochondrial, and, and improves mitochondrial structure and density and enhances the cells and, pre and prevents the cells from all the oxidative waste and degradation. And then on top of that, like you got to be responsible and get six to eight hours of sleep every night and, and, and attempt to do it in a way that's like you're undisturbed. You know, you got to sleep proof your, your room, you know, use good quality sleep hygiene. For people, and there's very few people that watch my podcast that still do this, but like, dude, think of the amount of people that put their phone next to their fucking head and go to bed at night. Yeah. Yeah. So but a big a big thing for me here, so bearing in mind a lot of my business is in America. So the times and means when I'm going to bed, America's still awake. So for years, I got into the habit of feeling I needed to check my phone in the night, which is terrible, right? So years back. So simple things like I used to leave my phone uh, as is on the uh, yeah, airplane mode. So it's just uh, psychologically as well, I've switched off because that was a big thing for me. It was like feeling on call. And I know a lot of people, um, I know your audience, they're far more optimized than the average uh, health group. So these guys will be ahead on this. But, you know, it's little triggers like that where you're giving yourself the permission to turn off and, and recover, which I think is really important. And um, from my experience of seeing the customers, we have a biostack. The, the, the people who are doing a really good job and making improvements, uh, but there are still small wins they can make and there are still significant steps to to taking their health optimization up a level. And we that's why for us, like we have the Biostack community that you're a part of for our customers, only for customers. And we do that because we want to support people with lifestyle choices, not just selling supplements. Because as I said earlier, we're very clear that this is a lifestyle it is sometimes imperfect, but we try and give you the tools to mitigate imperfect situations and imperfect uh, scenarios so you can always do better for yourself. Because I, I do think a lot of people with health optimization will go, I can't do that, so there's no point in doing anything. And they, they, it's like this defeatist mindset versus going, I'll do what I can and I'll endeavor to improve and get better at it and, and make slow improvements. That's better than do nothing. And I think if we can make people aware of that and empower them to get started and to learn to control their environment when things aren't, aren't necessarily perfect in terms of the circumstances, to still make better decisions over the course of a year, five years, that helps them. It really helps them. And that's why I wanted that community so we can hold our customers closer and go, hey, do this in the situation. We can help you. And that's not always yeah, that's awesome, bro. Well, it's definitely yep. not going to be able to be contained in a WhatsApp group for much longer, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> especially in the next couple of months, man. But I truly appreciate you coming on here today. So guys and gals, and of course, all the amazing people that watch the J Camp audience, as always, support the amazing people that come on. Uh, follow Adam at I, on IG at AdGathen. And of course, check out Biostack.com. Uh, you guys will be getting again in the comments of this video um, a link to purchase uh, with my affiliate code and you know a lot more information about all their various products. But I'll just mention them. They also have an amazing glucose disposal agent, which I use literally every single eating day, especially later at night uh, before I eat my final meals. Uh, and by the way, uh, a, a mutual friend of ours today, Chris Cavallini's uh, Nutrition Solutions Company, uh, his 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 blog and um, his podcast went out Monday, but his blog went out today. So it's already, he's like, his his people are already like messaging me and texting me saying, oh, dude, we didn't know it was going to be like this. I said, I told you there are a lot of people that are optimized and are looking for a meal prep plan because I've never actually uh, promoted ever a company that does meal prep or meal uh, 
food preparation services. So, I mean, I have a huge audience looking for quality stuff. And so I told Chris what was going to happen, but um, I eat his meals and I take your products either pre or post, but obviously I wake up in the morning every single day and I take the, uh, what is, what is the one that I take six capsules? What is the name of that one? Do you, you're taking cell shield, you're taking Glymax cell shield. plus cell shield. And, yeah, yeah. And that one plus. Yeah. So I take that one first thing in the morning and then I take the NAD region. I think I like can hour later, right before I do cardio, but also both on an empty stomach. Yes. Correct. Yes. Um, no, I, I truly appreciate it. And I'm excited to uh, see some of your followers, customers with us because I truly believe when people, the one thing, the one metric I love most about Biostack since we launched is our lifetime value of customer. It's insane. Like, it's really insane. And for people who don't know what that means, a lot of customers will go to a software and brand because of like some offer. And then they kind of bounce to the next business who's offering some other deal. When people join us as a customer because they see the impact of the products and they get the customer support and they get the access to the community, you've got people like Jay, you've got people like Chris, you've got Sean Wells, uh, Dr. Dom, all these names in the community answering your questions. Like, it's, it's really cool. The people stay with us because it's, it's a mission. It's not just a supplement brand. And that's the cool thing. So I'm excited to have people come in for them to experience what we can offer them i truly am that's awesome man well i can't wait to express or i can't wait to uh, show off the products and talk more about the products to my audience so again everybody go head on over to biostack.com and remember raise your vibration to optimize your love creation we will see all of you guys very soon